Hi, lovely ladies. My name is Bren, and I am coming to you from wixstudio1.com. You can receive 30% off most pieces by entering the promo code BEAUTIFULYOU at checkout. When John Renault is allowing their sales, you can enter JR30 and receive 30% off of those pieces as well. Wix Studio One also provides a large online support group on Facebook. It is called Wix Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. If you when you join, you'll find a lot of ladies just like you suffering from hair loss, whether it may be from trichotillomania, chemo, heredity, whatever the case may be, we're there to help you and support you through it. It does get easier, I promise you that. And it gets so much easier when you have the encouragement of other women that know what you're going through because it's just so lonely, but it doesn't have to be. I have a YouTube channel. It is called Fake Hair Real Talk with Bren. And on that channel, I share with you tips and tricks that I've learned uh, along my hair loss journey, which has been pretty crazy. Um, I also sell pieces that I have reviewed and pieces that I've purchased on my own. So if y'all are interested in that, y'all hop over and join me and uh, I'd love to see y'all there. Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. We are going to do a review on John Renault's Hope. First, I wanna talk about this piece that I'm wearing right now. I always get asked, what is it that you're wearing at the beginning of the video? Well, this one is a surprise because it's one that I've done a review on, but it doesn't look anything like it because I went and got her cut. This is John Renault's L. And I think even in my video uh, of my review, I said if I kept her, I was gonna put her in a lob. Did it. So let me show you real quick what she looks like now. She's cute, huh? I like her a lot. So if there is a piece that you like, but you want a little something different, check about getting it cut. I know it can be difficult finding somebody to touch your piece. When I first started, I found someone at Super Clips and she did it, but she wasn't very good at it at all. And so then I went to another place kind of like great clips or and they told me flat out that it is against their policy to touch a wig so i was like okay well crap then i found a stylist that did my human but i didn't like her that much so y'all i get my eyelash extensions and you know just talk with the uh technician She's a hairstylist, career of choice. And I said, are you kidding me? And she's like, mm-mm. I said, would you cut my wigs for me? And she's like, yes. So, y'all aren't, aren't going to believe. $15 for the synthetics. $30 for my human hair. So what I would suggest, if you're having a hard time finding somebody, go to one of those salons where they rent individual spots. I would not call. I would roll up and I would have a piece, not, nothing scary, something simple. Start with a bang or something. You don't want to go in there with, you know, huge expectations and stuff. So, but go and... If you get your eyelashes done, ask the technician what she does. She might be a hairstylist. I don't know. That's how it worked for me. And so this is perfect for me for the summer for a darker piece. 
I love it. So what I'm telling y'all is don't give up on your style. If there's something extra that you want, try it. Um, I see it done all the time in our Facebook group. And it's like, yes, 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 yes. I love it. I just get so tickled when I see y'all coming back and said, well, this, I didn't like it that much. So I did this, this, and that. And damn, you're looking great. And you took the bull by the horns and made it your own. I love it. Okay, sorry, getting off on a tangent. But one of the reasons is because I'm doing a, a review over hope. I have hoped that I bought a, like over a year ago and I took her in to my stylist and she cut her. So I'll show y'all in a minute. Um, but anyway, the hope that we are doing is in color 27 T 613. And I don't think my lighting's doing a good job right now. Maybe. There's more red in here. Let me see this light. I try so hard to try to make it where y'all can. And it's just so difficult, guys. So, um. That's why I start going outside. But let me tell y'all what it says that she is. Medium, red, blonde, and pale natural gold blonde blend with pale gold blonde tips. Now, I can't see what they're talking about there. See how it's pretty light right there on the tips? I can see that. Um, this color is very pretty. It really is. Uh, she's I love John Renault's light colors, guys, because you know I can't do those knots. I'd rather buy this and then root whatever. That way I have control over those knots. You know what I'm saying? If I need it rooted, I will find a way. And I'd much rather have to root it myself than have the knots. So anyway, she has a great lace front because she's blonde. Um... Here's her top. And what I was real, hold on real quick, let me. Here's velvet and it's got the little stays. She's open wefted, so it's airy. Um, she does not have an extended nape, which didn't really matter because when I got her cut, she didn't say it was an issue or anything. My head is 21 inches around and this fits me pretty well. I'm, I'm shocked, but it does. So, she is very light density. She's very realistic. And I like it. Look at, oh, you can see that blonde there and then kind of the other color. Okay, let's put her on. I feel like Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> I don't know why. But I think it's sexy, guys. And if you wanted a little root, you could put a little root. Okay, let's go over her measurements. My head from hairline to my chin is eight inches, and then my neck is four, to the best that I could do. My head is 21 inches around, and so when I read these measurements, measure your face and just kind of see, because I've seen the same wig look completely different in lengths and everything on somebody else. Um, the bang is 11.5, the crown is 12, the sides are eight, and the nape is four. And she weighs 3.8 ounces. She hardly has any permatease, guys. I mean, like nothing. There's lift, but it's not. It's very realistic and believable. She is heat defiant. 
So if you don't like heat defiant fibers, probably not your girl. But if you maybe wanted to try heat defiant, maybe start short and then see, you know, maybe try that. But we did learn at the John Renault core class that their heat defiant has to have heat applied to it once a week. We always hear people saying, oh, my heat defiant's doing this, this, and this, and getting all crunchy. And we have a, and, and I haven't even applied heat to it, and it's getting that way. Well, John Renault said that's what, you have to put that heat back into that, into that fiber. So just remember that. And also, heat defiant colors are different. Dang it, I wish I would have checked it because I always get it confused. I wish I would have checked it before I did this video. Um, they're warmer, I think. They are warmer. They are warmer. I think that's the right answer. There is a difference, I'm telling y'all. So heat defiant, one color code, the exact same color code in non-heat defiant and just synthetic they're gonna not look the same. So just FYI. Okay, let's look at her lace front, guys. Yes, I'm healing from my burn, but it's good, right? So cute. Okay, guys, let's do a spin. Okay, so with her having such a great lace front, you could pull her back like that. That'd be so cute with two little clips. And then you could even braid a little bit. If she falls in your face, get your steamer and steamer off the face. But I kind of like it. I think it's kind of sexy. And then she only has the part. I'll take her off again and show you. I don't know why I didn't show you in the cap. So it's only the left. But you could cut bangs like a side, long side swept. Well, she kind of already has it, but if you want to start there. And then you could cut a full fringe right here and that'd be easy let me let me take this off and I'll show you inside on the left part and I'm gonna put my hoat on that I have my stylus fix I like it. I'll do a spin for y'all. She's really cute. I need, I need to steam her off the face. But I kind of like it over like that. So I might steam that. Or you can use that peace out cream or whatever. But this density, guys, is just, oh my gosh. And then with me cutting her, she's even more light. And I just think it's something fun for the summer. Throw it on and go. I love it. It's a mono part. And so this part right here is gonna look like it's growing out of your scalp. Okay, I'm gonna take this one off. I'll put this one back on and we'll go outside so I can show y'all. It's really windy though right now. So, but let's go. Hi guys, okay. Let's see. No, it's really windy. You can see the 
of red in there now. See it? It's not a great deal, but it is, you know, it's noticeable. I'm afraid to let go of my computer to do a turn for y'all. I'm afraid it's going to blow off. Hi hey guys, I'm back. My husband made an observation. Uh, he just got home and he said, uh, that hair color looks like Lola, our dog. So he wanted me to show y'all. So get her up here. <laughs> Lola. <laughs> I agree. What do y'all think? 